my wife is from Edmonton, and uh, my brother-in-law, actually, her brother was uh, was in Fort Mac um, working when that was all going down. So we had uh, a little bit of a play-by-play behind the scenes what was happening as it was going on. So, um, yeah, it, it's really hard to believe by looking at the pictures and hearing the accounts from my brother-in-law that's, uh, that that could happen. And um, it's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's uh, pretty crazy, and, and luckily nobody got hurt. And um, you know, it's amazing to see how quickly everybody can put their heads together and and, um, and come together and put on an event like this, like Fire Aid. And um, you know, it's it's really really inspiring to see all this good stuff going on in the world. How did you get approached to uh, take part in the concert? I was in uh, I was in Toronto doing my, uh, promoting my new single, and um, I was with my publicist, who had a lot to do actually with putting the show together, um, from what I understand. And, yeah, I, I kind of just asked what they would be and asked if they would they would want me to be involved. And um, luckily, they uh, they they did. They uh, you know sent me the invite and asked me if I'd be a part of it. And I was more than more than happy and willing and and proud to do it. The lineup tonight is is pretty amazing. From yourself to Jimmy Rankin to Nickelback, you take the stage around six forty five. What are your uh, fans in store for during your set tonight? I got thirteen radio singles just as a solo artist, so trying to figure out what four songs to play has been a bit of a nightmare. But um, <laughs> we're just going to get out there and and uh, and have fun and uh, try to bring some uh, some energy to to the building. And um, yeah, my, my daughter and my wife are, they just flew in this morning, so. My two and a half year old is gonna be the first time her seeing, you know, Daddy do his thing, and you know it's uh, gonna be a pretty neat story later on down the road when she realizes that um, her first show was an event like this, um, you know, that helped out so many people. And okay, we got Dallas Smith on the show this afternoon. Dallas taking part in the Fire Aid for Fort McMurray show at Commonwealth Stadium. You got a crazy summer ahead of you taking part in the Ripcord World Tour with Marin Morris and opening up for Keith Urban. That must be a lot of excitement uh, leading up to this tour. Yeah, that's that starts off in September in my hometown of Vancouver. So uh, yeah, we got a handful of um, we got a bunch of festivals this summer leading up to it, and uh, in between those dates, I gotta I gotta uh, record a new record and have that ready for the tour. And yeah, it's gonna be a whirlwind next uh, you know two, three, four months. But um, you know, I, uh, you know, busy is good, and I got a lot of great things to look forward to, and a lot of great experiences, and, and play in front of a lot of people. So you know, uh, life is good, and. Um, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy it. The uh, World Tour comes to Edmonton September 16th at the new Rogers Centre Arena in downtown Edmonton. Dallas, have you been uh, following the construction of the new uh, the b- new building at all? You know, funny you ask, man. I actually was, uh, was doing some promo stuff this morning here in Edmonton, and uh, we drove by uh, the arena. So, you know, we drove underneath that over uh, the overpass. Like, I guess goes to the winter area of it. Uh, yeah. Of the arena. It's a beautiful-looking building. Um, yeah, Edmonton's really lucky to have, have a big facility like that. So... Um, yeah, I, I can't wait to, uh, to. I think we might be the first concert in that uh, in that arena, or at least first country concert. So it's going to be an incredible experience. And you know, just another thing here in Amazon, I'm just going to be proud to, to be a part of. Uh, your latest song, let's get to it, called "One Little Kiss." Uh, tomorrow, your video for that new single comes out. Uh, you must be pretty excited for that. Yeah, that's great, man. We're we, I think the video debut, debuts on uh, ET Canada tonight, and uh, and then everywhere else tomorrow. So tell us all about your new song, uh, "One Little Kiss." Yeah, it's um, it's a song that we kind of been watching. Uh, it's from a different artist that should have been, I think, in my opinion, it should have been released as a single form. But um, we asked the writers if we could uh, have a crack at it and do our own thing with it, and and luckily the writers of the song, you know, agreed that um, you know, it, it should have been a radio song. And and uh, yeah, I just really enjoyed, really enjoyed this song. I've always loved this song, and um. You know, I'm just glad it's uh, it's got my name attached to it and uh, and uh, hitting the airwaves. You got 13 singles. You just said, you know, that's that's enough for maybe a new album. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I gotta have. We got 13 more in the in the bag here that we're gonna be recording this summer. So. Lots of lots of new material coming out in early September. Dallas Smith, enjoy the Fire Age show tonight. Enjoy the world tour, and great talking to you again, man. Thanks, Jeremy.